Hi guys, what's going on? I'm Yvo Loz, and today we're back with another episode of Oscriv. So, we're on to episode 19 now. Um, if you remember last time, we continued to develop our housing sector, got our population over 150, finally, and managed to make the best trade we've ever done, and where we sold uh, an awful lot of shoes, which made us a lot of money. And so now we've got 640 gold, and things are looking a lot better. Um, having the money, that's a real relief now. Um, I did think about possibly we're going to keep an eye on sort of our net loss per year. If the salaries aren't too much less than the uh, local sales and the rent, then we could look at slightly increasing the basic monthly wage. Um, perhaps because I know a few of our people, like some of the people down here, are continually running out of money. And there's another one. Yeah, they're, they're out of money as well. So that's something we could possibly do. Um, we've still got some open vacancies. We've got plenty of things being constructed. Um, we've got some more stuff being built over here, although I think that's mostly sorted. Yeah, we've got a cow shed, a second cow shed to be built there. Um, let's continue, it's paused. Um, and we're also building some more stuff here. We've got another farm to be built here. We're going to fill in this sort of remaining uh, space down here and around here. Um, then we've got to look where we're going to continue our housing construction zone. Because obviously we've got quite a lot of housing built out here, but the further I built this way, build this way, the more sort of further away I'm going to be from... Uh, all the centre of the town and all that sort of stuff and I don't think that's necessarily a good thing so we could maybe build a little bit around here or maybe hop over to this island here um, or we could build a bridge here onto this mainland here so we've got a few options I think of what we could do going forwards um, so let's go on a little bit faster so all the crops are growing everything got planted then we've got a bit of wheat some hemp and potatoes I believe yes um, most uh, no all of the sunflower fields were left fallow because they ran out of nutrients but next year they'll be ready for growing again um, so yes let's crack on get things fast forwarded a little bit and um, we should have three fishermen in every uh, dock which we do um, that's all full so that's giving quite a good supply of food messenger from Murpha is visiting okay that's good we can certainly sell them some stuff first we've got 18 sunflower oil we can sell them um, I'll take a risk and I'll deal at 20 um, and then when they get here I suspect we'll have gone up to that, that amount it takes a quite long time to travel and wherever it is the sunflower workshop has got quite a bit in there it just needs to be carried over to the uh, to the actual trading post I don't think we've got much in the way of spare shoes at the moment no we haven't um, we may I don't know if we've got someone at the slaughterhouse um, we haven't actually got anyone at the slaughterhouse but we've got a position available um, and then we've got someone at the tannery and the shoemaker's workshop. It might be worth slaughtering a couple of the older cows. I think I will do. We'll mark a cow and an ox for slaughter there. Um, we'll leave those ones for now alive. And those ones. Um, so we want to try and keep building up uh, our stocks of leather. And that leather will then be turned into shoes. Which is obviously our best export. That's what we make most money on. Um, so this car has got ages per time, definitely per time we get sale will certainly be up to 30, some, uh, 20 sunflowers, sorry. So that will keep our money well afloat. So let's um, up very slightly the basic wage to 2.7 basic monthly wage. So hopefully that might now be enough to keep some of the sort of poorer families at least from going completely bankrupt. Um, although some of them might have gained a little bit of money. So uh, what else are we going to build? Well, I want to check how much... Uh, wheat we have got spare quite a lot so let's assign a job uh, a worker to the windmill so obviously i want to the main thing i want to keep is a, an excess of jobs basically because when there's an excess of jobs that means there's um, always sort of a reasonable amount of money going around all these people are getting paid for doing various things when you get vast unemployment i think that's when people the poverty starts to strike and people really start to run out of stuff uh, to buy so the bridge is working well, we've still got this bugged out bridge here. I want to build another bridge here, I think. Um, it makes sense to have plenty of access routes across these areas. Uh, we also probably need to look at building another clay pit on this side of the river if we're going to actually look at settling here. We've got the second forestry workshop, which is going up quickly, since uh, the foresters are sort of nigh on working flat out um, and are kind of struggling to keep up with the stores of um, firewoods that are needed and the resources that are being taken for all the buildings. So we're going to build a second foresters and set more the other two people working there so we can sort of increase the wood supplies. If it, once it catches up, if we like overtake the amount of wood we actually have available, then we can always uh, fire them again, just for the time being. So these carts should be here soon. And then June, uh, July, so one more 
month after this, and then we'll basically be in harvest season anyway, so then we'll have all the people in the fields collecting everything. Looks like we're going to get some good hemp and wheat harvests. Um, potatoes look like pretty good harvests as well, actually, so we should be doing okay this year. But no more sunflowers this year, we only you know, need to survive on the stocks we currently have. Uh, 24 sunflower oil now, so more than enough uh, available to sell. So, how's everything else getting built? Still got quite a lot to still to be built. Uh, there's not that many spare workers, I don't think. Although we've got a few people working there at the forestry, so it should go up fairly quickly, I would have thought. And then we've got this farm, once this farm is built. I don't know what I'm going to turn this into, perhaps another another wheat farm, another potato farm maybe. The food doesn't actually rot, so you know it's not actually that much of a problem for us. How many is that of money? The same family. Out of money again. At least there's a, a higher wage now for these people. Yeah, as I was saying, because food doesn't actually rot, um, it's not really a problem for us. You know, we're not in danger of actually running out of uh, potatoes if we produce too many. So we've still only got 21 spare, um, which is enough, but, you know, we have got an increasing population, so it could be a problem going forward. Obviously, we try and support this with fish from the fishermen, um, but they're actually kind of not that on top of it. There's a fair amount of fish stored at the uh, fisheries, so I guess this is rapidly collected at some point. Um, taken to the various market stalls, so it should be okay, but uh, we probably could do with having another sort of full potato farm. This is sort of hemp, wheat, sunflower, and then potatoes, although it all sort of cycles around slightly. Uh, and this one's getting pretty low, so we going to have to make some decisions about how this one cultivates next year, once the harvest in. So, what else have we got to do? So, something's been finished. Oh, the forestry has been finished. So, we'll assign two more workers to the forestry. Family's out of food. It's the same family. Same family that's continually poor. Well, I guess that's why they can't afford food, because they've not got any money. So, we've got two more workers now at the forestry. So, you should carry logs over um, and keep this sort of thing chopping down and churning out. Um, I kind of want to get rid of as much of this forest as possible anyway. We've got a lot of room to expand in that direction, so maybe we'll look at expanding the housing stock this way a little bit. Because we're not in desperate need of more farms, and we've got all this space down here which can hold farms, so we'll probably be better having the houses nearer to the village centre. Um, so we'll probably look at building more houses here. We could also have a bridge over here to this part of the river, maybe have a few houses on this little bit of land here. Could be quite good. So, houses, let's have a look at what we've got and where we're going to build. So we've got farm here. Well, this farm has got four fields, so it's not going to need any more. Um, there's a roadway here, but it's slightly encompassed by trees. I'm not sure I necessarily want to chop them down, but um, I would like to put this house on the roadway if we can. So how close can we get this to the road, although probably at a nice angle. So we'll go there. We've got a house marked out there. Um, and the next logical one is just there, just bordering that road slightly. So we'll have two more houses there. Um, we'll queue them up. Obviously it means we've got plenty of open vacancies. Keeps everyone well employed. And we want to get our population up higher. I know some people have managed to get villages sort of uh, supporting it to like 500 people. Which I guess must take up most of the map. Um, we're going to be a way off having that sort of number. But we are getting up there now. And I mean it's only episode, what, 19 I want to say? Um, or we could be 20. But no, I think we're on episode 19 now. So we've still got plenty of time to go, and we'll get a big village in the end, I'm sure. So, something else finished. Ah, oh, this second cattle shed. Yeah, that's something else I need to do, is order um, more cows from the other village. So this guy needs a pasture field as well. Um, where is it going to go? I don't know. Because um, obviously we're hemmed in here. So we could try and squeeze it that way yeah pretty tightly in isn't it so that should give a uh, pasture field so that should be assigned to cow shed yeah and this one should be assigned to the second cow shed which it is which is excellent so it's what we're going to do is um, send a messenger to Mablika it only costs 30 so it shouldn't take too long and order uh, an absolutely massive amount of cows is my plan I'm hoping that they'll have the sense to not all try and put them in one cow shed Although that could be the issue, um, that'll be my worry, because there's not all that much room, you know, there's only two there. They should have slaughtered those ones there, which get leather, which they have. So maybe there's some shoes, oh, we've got one point, we're getting some shoes now delivered to the training hut, which is obviously good, what we want. So we'll order these cows, 
Um, and I want to just get all these sheds stocked. So we've only got three in that one. Uh, seven in that one and they continue to get born. So that's probably enough. Our messenger has arrived. So we want to buy cows. Um, so we'll have... Uh, we'll just do it in stages so we see how it... Uh, we don't on the oxen, sorry. We'll do it in stages so I don't get too many at once. So we'll order four cows and four bulls. Um, it's only four days travel, so we should get a while still with our man in Oxen. Although we have just hit harvest period, I think. The farms are going to call in the workers soon, I should have thought. Yeah, all the things are ripening. The wheat hasn't grown very well, but the uh, hemp has, and the potatoes are growing relatively well, so we're not going to do too badly for our harvest, I don't think. Um, yeah, and potatoes haven't gone down very much, so we'll be more than fine for potatoes. Uh, but everyone's going to soon be called to the farms, which is going to mean we're going to have a massive sort of population shortage because the amount of open vacancies, you can see it there, has just gone through the roof as everyone calls in all the labourers to do the various tasks. So let's have a look. How, where are our cows? Uh, they should be arriving shortly. Oh yes, here they are arriving on the road to our, our trade road, although they're not going on the right road. Hopefully they'll just go to the nearest sort of fully empty cow shed. Um, and when they do that, that'll give us lots of options. These hay barracks are nice, nicely full, which is exactly what we want. So we need to assign two women to each of these new cow sheds, get these things up and running. Um, obviously there's now loads of open vacancies. And hopefully we'll get everything harvested nice and quickly, which we are doing pretty well. Look, we're getting a good split of workers between each of the different fields. All the hemp's getting cut down. Um, so we can continue to make clothes, which obviously we can sell. Although... Yeah, they need to move a few more clothes over to the trading post. So let's do that like that. Um, yeah, so we'll get brief workers here and then we'll assign some of these cows which have been split, probably put into one of these other sheds. Um, seven in there. Is that all of them in there? I don't know where all my cow sheds are. That's one problem. I don't think they've gone in there. Or well, they're not here yet. Can anyone see the cows? So they've not gone into that one. They've not gone into that one, I don't think. Because I think there was six in there and there's one newborn. So they're probably not in there. Ah, here they are. Okay, I found them. So we'll... We want... Um, cow. Bull. Uh, cow. Bull. And then we want... Cow. Cow, bull, bull. <laughs> there we go. So we should have, once they get moved over, have f f two cows, two bulls in each of them. So while the messenger's there, let's order a few more. Um, still there for 16 more days. So we'll order the same again. Buy, we'll import some more cows. It's only left three in there. Um, seven in there. Twelve in there. Wait for these guys to move them across to these other sheds, which hopefully they'll do shortly. Um, and then they should keep these stocked up with water now they've all got the workers there. I made sure to put the workers there um, a bit earlier this time because on a previous occasion I hadn't put the workers there and then I moved all the cows over and the workers at the same time but that means the workers hadn't preemptively filled these things up with hay and water so some of the cows ended up dying which was very unfortunate. Um, and here the cows come a coming across now. So I've got four there. No, they're not moved to that one yet. So then we've got the two of each, so four. It's obviously what we want and then we should get the second lot coming in in trade and then we're going to have a massive sort of amount of livestock we're then going to sort of let that livestock build up a bit and then we can start slaughtering them quite regularly and hopefully have a really good supply of leather which is what we want to produce lots of shoes um, and then like that we've got four shoes now you see that's worth a uh, hundred gold already so we'll gain as much back we could import and slaughter the cows and still make a really good profit uh, so I'm pretty pleased with how that will pan out obviously we're still making clothes out of all the textiles from all the hemp we harvest uh, which is good. And I think we've still got an excess of hemp, hopefully. Um, yeah, still got 13 hemp spare, and we've got the fresh harvest to come in as well. These guys are getting the potatoes in pretty quickly. Should be only probably one more month or something, maybe two more months before the yeah, rest of the stuff is all in. Uh, the foresters are all up and working. Still a fair old demand. The firewood's still in decline, so it's taking these guys even a bit of time to get up and running. So, you know, I think it was definitely a wise decision to build that second forestry, so we get that nice and early. Uh, working properly. All the cows should be out in the field, which they are. 
Oh, they all got assigned to that one, so we just got a massive increase in cows and bulls. Um, and there's still only four in that one, so we've got what 12 in there, four in there, so we'll take uh, one bull, one cow, um, and then we'll put a couple in this one. Uh, one bull, one cow. That's eight in there, then that'll be five in there, close enough. Um, and then got six in there. Yeah, that'll do. Although that's a relatively even distribution, I can't bother to get them exactly. Um, I'd rather have bulls and cows paired than anything else, so that's the main thing. Um, so yeah, so we've got pretty good cattle stock now. Messenger from Dahachi is visiting. Oh, he doesn't come very often. Um, what can we sell in wheat and shoes? Well, we've only got four pairs of shoes, um, but we shall still sell him four pairs. Still 140, so we'll flog him, flog him four pairs of shoes. Why not? I don't think we'll have any more built by the time he gets here, because I think they're out of leather now, and I'm not planning on slaughtering any more cows quite yet. Um, I would just like to know how long they live, though. We'll see what our oldest cow is. Oh, we've got a five-year-old bull, so maybe they do last a bit of time before they actually die. Um, our village population is on the increase. Our farm on our second potato farm over here is nearly done. Um, and the harvest is nearly in at this farm, although then they're going to have to all manually carry it back to the actual um, uh, farmhouse, which they are now starting to do, look, even though they're finishing off the harvest here. So we're going to carry it. We'll carry in all the potatoes from the field, but it's going to give us a massive increase in the amount of potatoes we've got. Plus, we've actually got a stock of 26 potatoes in the training post to sell anyway if we need to, so uh, we're going to be absolutely fine for for potatoes. Obviously, our money is down a little bit at the moment because we had to pay quite a lot for all the labourers, but we're still looking quite good. We're about to get another 140 from selling those shoes, so I don't think it's anything we need to worry about too much. Um, we could look at starting to assign some more housing queues. I think might be a good idea, but first, let's um, get... Uh, these house and um, house farms fields set up no field that's what I'm trying to do and um, where's the entrance gonna be we'll have it uh, over here I don't want to get into the way of trees really Let's set it slightly further back then it doesn't need to be massive fields sometimes the big fields I feel like take really too long to harvest and that's not really beneficial To try and line that up. Too long, too long. There. Uh, so we want to have four fields in total. And then we'll squeeze one more in, sort of at the top over here, I think. So a relatively larger one. There we go. And these are our four fields here. Um, we'll assign all these to potatoes. At least for the first year. Potatoes just seem to be my go-to crop. <laughs> They're just easy because they can just be eaten straight from the thing. Um, and we'll assign a worker. Really we need to get a plow built there. I don't know if we have any real spare oxen though. Not that I'm aware of. I think I killed the last one not long ago. Um, and I didn't yield any more from the Tehachi. We can uh, forcibly um, cut the testes off some of our bulls and make them oxen. Um, but for now we'll leave them without a plow. They're not a particularly important farm. It's just a little sub farm for when they're... Uh, when the rest of the harvest, you know, can be done. So it gives us a few extra potatoes. So we need to assign more houses to be built as well. Um, this is where I start to head out the village. Place a few um, backing onto the... Well... Doesn't like that. Um, how to disable snapping. Alt. Um, so obviously you're not forced to use snapping if you don't know. But we'll place it there like that. I'm not going to get another one in there, I don't think, no matter how small I try and make it. Uh, but we can fit a few more over this side. And we'll slowly start to build up a bit of an estate, hopefully. There we go. So that gives us three more houses. You know, we're starting to push 200 population soon, which is great. You know, I'm really pleased with how our village is growing. And we have 44 men, 44 women, so plenty of workers now, which is why the harvest started to get a little bit quicker, I think. Um, although they still haven't collected in all the potatoes off the fields. So how they're going to deal with another farm, I don't know. But the main thing is actually to get it harvested before the end of November. Um, because after that, then the crop fails and gets gets destroyed. If it's uh, harvested and just left in the field, um, it doesn't actually matter until... Um, you can just take it, they can pick it up whenever they like. Even if it does start snowing, so that doesn't actually matter for me. But th this is what's important, is to get it actually cut down before the snows hit. 
Uh, otherwise, you do lose the crop, the crop, which is obviously not what we want. Uh, so we've got plenty of new families moving into the new houses, which is good. So I think we're probably going to leave this episode here. Uh, it's what I might do before we finish. I'll just assign... Or should I wait until... No, I'll wait to the... Particularly given we know how buggy bridges are. I was going to build another bridge to this little island here. But I think we'll wait and do that on the next episode. Particularly if this one sort of went, went a bit wrong. I'd rather do it in one go on one save rather than um, saving and loading. Because I think that's what, what, what might have bugged out this bridge last time. So, thanks for watching guys. If you've enjoyed this episode of Ostriv, give it a like. And let me know in the comments down below what you think. We still haven't given our village a name. So we really do need to come up with some form of idea. Maybe Losville or something. I don't know. Um, but thanks for watching guys and I shall see you on the next episode.